Aloha, everyone, and welcome back. This is Marissa Indigo transmitting to you through the forest. And the subject of today's video <laughs> is the mechanics of destabilization. And this transmission wanted to come through in the forest. It was actually gifted by the trees. And I want to show you, here I am in the forest with an uprooted tree, perfect symbolism of what we're gonna be talking about today. So I was guided to share this information with you to support your ascension process, conscious navigation, you go not, however you identify or however you call this amazing journey of consciousness that we are on. I just wanna share some magic from the forest, the birds, and I'll find a place to sit down and we'll have a little chat about the mechanics of destabilization and what that means and how they're actually happening for us. Everything's happening for us, despite appearances, <laughs> emotions, sensations, memories that arise. Yeah, so we're gonna get into it as soon as I can find a place to park the phone here to film. Hmm. Well, all right, everyone, welcome, welcome. I'm just kneeling because it's wet. It's hard to find a place to actually sit and park. So we'll hang here for as long as I can. Hopefully we don't have too much traffic on the trail. <laughs> So the trees, oh, they were sharing the transmission while I'm on this walk today. And we were looking at the astrology, listening about the astrology and the planet Uranus and how it has this kind of wake and shake, rattle, uh, chaotic, sudden shifts and changes, and just focusing on that energy and reflecting on how it has uh, emerged through my life, through my path, you know. And the words were destabilization. And I was like, hmm. And then I was shown the visual and the trees were helping, almost like the uprooting, right? So when the tree is uprooted, like this one behind me here, you see the root mass is there, all of the soil. And it's just ripped out of the earth to go elsewhere. And I feel like that's such a wonderful visual to kind of encapsulate the experience of destabilization and on the quantum mechanics side of the consciousness journey. Why does this have to happen like that? Because it can feel sudden, abrupt, maybe a little chaotic or violent, you know, really can literally rattle us to our core, shake us to our core. But why? Why do we have to be shaken? So it's like shake and wake, right? Instead of shake and bake <laughs> or wake and bake, it's shake and wake. And this is part of the process, the mechanics of the universe to support us in expanding our consciousness because when we get comfortable and we get rooted in belief systems, habits, um, automated functioning, you know, like being on autopilot, all of those different things, then we're not evolving, we're not expanding, we're not growing. So sometimes the universe will come in and the cosmos will come in and that's with the planet of Uranus. So we wanna think about Uranus and uh, I'll share more information in some articles if you want to connect to this amazing planet. Uh, but it is God's source kind of electricity, holy fire, kundalini activation, a higher God consciousness or unity consciousness or source level expansion kind of codes. But with that light, you know, you imagine all of a sudden you open a door to a room and the light is flooding in and it's sudden, it's abrupt, it can be blinding. And that's kind of part of the energy of Uranus and how it rolls through in cycles of our life to support us in our expansion so that we're on track, we are evolving, we are expanding our consciousness and doing this ascension process to the best of our capability with, with uh, all being perfectly aligned for us through us. So the mechanics of destabilization, just to try to summarize, because sometimes it's hard to put these uh, concepts into words. So I like to try to provide visuals and uh, emotional sensations, what can arise, a big one for me personally. So I'll just share because I find that mirroring this way makes it more tangible and digestible for you to apply for your own self and to share uh, with others on the journey. But for me personally, the sign of Taurus is my sun sign and Uranus has been going through the sign of Taurus, which represents the body as well as many, many things. And so in a lot of my work, I've been sharing the last couple of years, hey, Uranus is in Taurus. So we're going to start having more of that high frequency voltage going through the body 
of this infinite source intelligence flowing through us. And we've got to learn how to ground it in. Also, when you have discordant frequencies, so if you're holding on to something and you've got some density crystallized in, in you, and then you get hit with this higher voltage light coming through, or another example of that could be also the solar flare energy coming from the sun. And it's a lot of destabilizing energy that uh, unzips the magnetics <laughs> and it happens in the atmosphere or the magnetosphere around us internally at cellular level and this destabilization process initially because it is chaotic and rattles us and does shake the root chakra i'm almost hearing the root chakra like um like a rattle <laughs> you know the, the seeds are shaking in there I'm seeing like a tortoise shell rattle shake 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 and that's what's happening that's that shake and wake <laughs> happening uh, for our consciousness with a lot of root chakra upgrades right so <laughs> um let's see i lost my track for a minute oh okay so when we're having these initial shakeups of the root chakra what's the first stuff that's going to come up and out fear terror um safety and security you know early childhood uh patterning or perhaps trauma um, accidents, like you'll have memories of things like car accidents, like things that really rattled you that were really scary, you know, near death experiences. It's that level of very deep entrained neurochemistry that's kind of hardwired in time through the body, through the consciousness, the memory of the body. And so that will sometimes, oftentimes, <laughs> when we're new to the shake up energy, that's some of the first stuff to come up and we could have panic attacks, you know, it depends on how these things come through you, how they affect you emotionally and psychologically. And you can see that by looking at your own birth chart, your astrology chart and seeing where's Uranus going through my chart, what planets, houses, what signs or constellations, you know, is it communicating with? Um, but for me personally, it was in my son and we switched states, like moved out of state from somewhere. We were in California almost 25 years and then moved into Washington. And there was a lot of destabilization of the route. And just now, you know, almost two years in now in this new location, finally feeling like we can put roots down and actually feel like we're getting grounded. And I see that that whole process, I had to get out of where I was because I was rooted there for too long and there was a stagnancy there. And it was time to come into a different energy, which you can see here, I'm in the forest with the birds and there's a lot of water, rain flowing waters here, much more of a Lemurian environment to support my evolutionary growth physically for my light body. And also the forest bathing, you know, the psychological effects of, on our, our bodies and our energy bodies. So our mental health, our physical health, our emotional health, and our spiritual health. And so all of that, while that move was traumatic, there's so many unknowns and there still are, and it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. Assessing how all of these shifts have facilitated a rapid acceleration for me of spiritual growth, all new identities and expansions, a lot more peace, softness, and grace. I started the Tai Chi Gung practice when we moved here a few months after being here. So I'm uh, on my second year of the Tai Chi Gung practice. And it's been this elemental uh, Lemurian, you know, earth mama Gaia consciousness rebirth, which has led to a lot of inner revolution, um, inner liberation and a simplification and really feeling connected to the planet has expanded a whole new spiritual connection and energy. The sense of feeling alive, feeling more alive than I ever have in my, in my life, really. Maybe since a young child uh, being in Hawaii, it's that same Mama Gaia, um, very in your face, you know, energy with the forest and the animals and all kinds of the weather and things. So anyway, I'm walking. And oftentimes we get transmissions, you know, being so connected with the trees and the roots and the mycelial networks that are right beneath us, these transmissions just flow through. And I thought I should share the forest with you all. It'll be a beautiful time to share. Now I'll stop talking so you can actually take a look around. <laughs> I'm sorry for the narrow camera, but it is what it is. It's the phone right now. It's just what we got. So simplification of being um, an ability to appreciate the small pleasures, simplifying what we need, what's important, what's the priority. There's a purification that happens after this destabilization. So we have to essentially be 
picked up and plopped somewhere else on the grid. And this cuts off, disconnects all of our coordinates, all of our hardwiring, um, where we are kind of rooted into that grid and a mentality, perhaps a belief system, a frequency of being that doesn't serve. So that destabilization energy comes in to swoop in and ultimately keep us on course. You know, whether we want that or not, uh, whatever kind of resistance we have or fear or trust issues that this brings up, you know, just allowing the course of the cosmic tides to carry us and, and uh, allowing ourselves to go downstream too in our canoe. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption here, but as I am editing this video, I want to make sure that I'm always very clear that the process of the destabilization and the mechanics of destabilization doesn't literally have to mean a physical moving off of one physical grid, one part of the planet to another. This can also be purely conceptual, and this has happened many times where we think we are going to literally move. Like in 2020, for example, we thought we were going to move to Ecuador and made all the preparations, all of this stuff, and then we're showing no, that's not what you're doing actually. It's an internal move. So you may not literally have to relocate your physical body and life. It may be just a mindset, a belief system, a program. So there's a lot of internal movement and terraforming that happens at quantum levels as well through our mind, through our connection and our expansion into higher dimensional frequencies of information or self-knowing. So I wanted to make sure, I don't want to freak anyone out and make you think you've got to move. <laughs> that may not be true for you, but I'm just sharing my own experience here. And I wanted to make sure that I do emphasize it doesn't have to necessarily be a literal move. A shift on the quantum coordinate plane is, above all things, an internal one. So thank you so much and let us proceed back to the forest transmission. Um, so I hope that this gives you some understanding of the inner workings of the consciousness journey. Everything is quantum. Everything is connected. We can see things through multiple layers, um, always expanding, always taking it higher like we're climbing a tree or rooting down deeply into the earth and the roots. And that's part of what the trees are here to transmit for you all is that the destabilization process is a blessing. So if it kicks up victim, fear, uh, any time in our life or memory throughout time, even past life stuff, or even pre-earth incarnation stuff, um, any time that we felt victimized, betrayed, any of that root chakra, the darker sides of being um, a sensitive and emotional being, part of the human experience, the divinity in the human experience is we are vulnerable, right? And so we are no longer defined by our vulnerabilities, by our woundedness, shame or trauma, pain stories. That's what the destabilization energy is for, is it's a reboot. We're gonna unplug you and we're gonna plug you back in at a higher voltage. And you could be kicking and screaming, um, based on how it, you know, comes through for you. For me, it was a move. It was a huge deal. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Huge deal. You know, pack up your whole life and uh, go somewhere where you don't know anyone. All that stuff is gnarly. Um, especially if you're an earth sign, <laughs> I'm an earth sign. <laughs> my son uh, is in Taurus. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else for you all with this destabilization. But just trying to transmit or share the visuals of the root and the tree and the whole vascular system, the energetic system, the light body, energy bodies, everything that's happening to us, um, emotional, causal, um, psychic body, mental body, all these layers of our being beyond what we can perceive physically, you know, are affected on purpose. So it is a divine dispensation and the process is allowing all of the separation consciousness, distortion consciousness, where we feel um, negative emotions or memories when that's a purge, you know, that's a huge part of the destabilization energies. Is we're just going to rip that out of you and it can feel like a very strong experience an intense experience, but once we get into trust and just surrender and trust that this is all happening for you, through you, trust, open your heart, feel the heart, feel what you're feeling, uh, feel what you're feeling on the other side of it, feel where it's coming from and feel into that. And you'll feel <laughs> a lot of feeling. That's how we do it. That's how we navigate quantum realities. Um, <laughs> but by feeling into the source of this uprooting, this shift, this destabilization, whatever level is happening for you, whatever it means for you in your unique journey, know that it's coming from a loving place. And you'll know that, don't take my word for it, you'll know that by feeling in because you will feel Uranus. You'll feel source energy. Um, 
these older outer planets are, are wisdom keepers, just like all the planets are, and they operate at much longer cycles of time, you know, like 40 years, 50 years, 70 years, longer, longer cycles of time around the planet and in our, um, in our universe, or I should say our galaxy or our solar system, actually more locally solar system. <laughs> Sorry, I went way out there and had to pull back in. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyways, destabilization, the mechanics of the destabilization at the quantum level of our consciousness journey, to try to summarize all of that, it's for you. And the more open we can be to our evolution and trusting and allowing ourselves to authentically become who we are, what really feels right and natural and not resist, then the more glorious and lovely it will be up front. If you're like me and you have to thrash and rebel and um, go through the angst, you, you want to do that. You want to get it out of your system. Just let it go. You know, let it flow out of you and clear it out and come to the other side. Say, okay, what you got for me? What are we doing? Where are we going? Like, I know you're going to show me it's time for a change. And the thing is that you will know, like, yeah, it is time for a change. You'll feel that in your bones. The bones always know. So wishing you all a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me in the forest. Oh, so beautiful. And just remember if you feel uprooted like that tree, the new place to root in will come and it's coming from the inside out. It's an inside place. So we are clearing and redefining our root, our root chakra and aligning it with the higher knowing that we now have the higher awareness and all the knowledge that we've been accumulating, which is a lot. So thank you so much. Take care. Enjoy the destabilization. Become a traveler of the universe of quantum mechanics, a time traveler, um, an elemental, <laughs> <laughs> a psychonaut um, and just a galactic explorer and it starts to become really fun. All right, see you soon. <laughs>